Science for Quarter 2, Module 7 Lesson 7 Beneficial and Harmful Interaction Among Living Things Good morning! My name is Teacher Donna, your science teacher for today. What I need to know or what you need to know Our objectives are Describe some types of beneficial and harmful interactions among living things. Identify the kinds of interactions given. Comp complete the data that shows the different kinds of interaction. Let us review our past lesson yesterday. Here's the direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. It is the largest and the most complex level of organizations which consists of all plants, animals, and microorganisms. A. Biotic B. Abiotic C. Ecosystem D. Organism What is your answer? If your answer is letter C, you are correct. Next, number two. It is one factor in ecosystem known as living things. A. Environment B. Abiotic C. Sun D. Biotic what is your answer? If you answer letter D, you got it right! Number 3 Another factor in ecosystem known as non-living things Example chair, clothes, or even house a. Water B. Biotic C. Sun D. Biotic What is your answer again? Oh, it's letter B. Correct! Very good! Good job! Now, let us proceed to our lesson. Here is the symbiotic relationship among living things. Number 1. Mutualism In this type of interaction, where both species benefited from the relationship, the best example of this is the relationship between the butterfly and the flower. This process is what we call pollination. The butterfly are the pollinators, while the flower uh, provide pollen grains to reproduce the other plants or themselves. Number 2. Commensalism This type of interaction, one organism benefits while the other is neither harmed nor benefited. One, the one who benefits is called commensal and the other that is neither harmed nor benefited is what we call the host. An example of this is the clownfish and the sea anemone. The sea anemone will protect and provide shelter for the clownfish, but they are harmed with other fishes. Number 3 Predation 
be seen if one organism is badly harmed while the other is benefited. The one who benefits is called predator and the other one that is badly harmed is called prey. An example of this is a bear and a fish. Since the bear is the strongest of them, the, the bear is what we call the predator. And its food will serve as uh, the fish will serve its food. So the fish is the prey. The other one is endoparasite, parasite that found inside the body of the host. Best example of this is the lice on the head of the human. This is an example of ectoparasite because it found outside of the body. And the worm in the intestine or in the digestive system. This is endoparasite found inside the body of the host. Number 5. Competition Striving or something fighting for the things that are needed for survival. Different organisms may compete for food, sunshine, water, air, space or shelter, or anything that has needed for survival. Every organism in this kind of interaction is known as competitor. In the picture, you may see the two wolves fighting each other to win. The one who won in the fight will get the food. And the one who lost the fight never gain or the less gain of food. The last one is cooperation. It is a kind of interaction wherein a specific type of species live together to live. Most organisms under this kind of relationship build a colony and it is often ruled by the queen that is responsible for the reproduction. Let let me know what you have learned. Here's the question. What is an ecosystem? What is the difference between the biotic and abiotic component of ecosystem? What are the symbiotic relationships among living things? Let us answer one by one. What is an ecosystem? It is the largest and the most complex level of organization which consists of all plants, animals, and microorganisms. Number two question. What is the difference between biotic and abiotic component of ecosystem. Biotic component living things and abiotic component are the non-living things. 
Number three question. What are the symbiotic relationships among animals? Mutualism, commensalism, predation, parasitism, competition, and cooperation. Great! You are excellent one. Assess, assess what you have learned. Here's the direction. Choose the letter of their best answer. Write your chosen letter on the separate sheet of your paper. Number one. If organisms compete with each other for food, light, and shelter, what do you call to that relationship? A. Competition B. Thumbs commensalism C. Parasitism and D. Predation Number 2 You have seen a bird on the top of the carabao. What kind of interaction is shown? A. Mutualism B. Parasitism, C. Commensalism, and D. Predation. Let us go further with question number three. What do you call a relationship where one organism benefited and the other was neither benefited nor harmed? A. Commensalism. B. Predation C. Mutualism D. Parasitism Number 4 What kind of interaction can be seen if both species benefited from each other? A. Parasitism B. Mutualism C. Commensalism D. Predation Number 5 If the one who benefits in parasitism is called parasite, what about the one who is harmed? A. Prey B. Commensal C. Host and D. Predator. Just remember this. Charles Elton said, Food is the burning question in the animal society, and the whole structure and activities of community are depends upon the question of food supply. Thank you and God bless us.